What is up guys? Since the Galaxy S20 Ultra launched in 2020, we have seen the exact same battery capacity every single year, 5000 milliamp hours. It's become this weird tradition that refuses to die. But finally, we have two major clues that suggest this era of stagnation is about to end. And if you care about battery life, this is the news you've been waiting for. Clue number one comes directly from the rumors surrounding the next flagship. Reports are claiming that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will finally, finally break the 5000 mAh barrier. Now, let's be real for a second. The alleged capacity is 5200 mAh. I know, a 200 mAh increase sounds negligible. It's hardly a massive upgrade on paper. But symbolically, this is huge. It proves that Samsung is at least beginning to turn its attention toward this issue. After half a decade of flatlining, the line is finally going up. But if a 200 milliamp hour bump doesn't excite you, the second clue definitely will. And it comes from the most unlikely place, a budget phone. A new certification from Brazil suggests that the upcoming Galaxy A07 5G, Samsung's lowest end budget device, is packing a massive 6,000 milliamp hours. You heard that right. The budget phone might have a significantly bigger battery than the Ultra flagship. It seems peculiar, right? But history tells us this is actually a classic Samsung move. Remember who got the punch hole display first? It was the mid-rangers, not the flagships. This could be Samsung's test run. By launching a 6,000 mAh battery in the A07, potentially even in the US market, they could be testing the waters before bringing this massive capacity to the S26 Ultra sometime in 2027 or beyond. Now, whenever we talk about this, people love to bring up US regulations. The argument is that safety laws prevent manufacturers from putting denser, larger batteries into these phones. And while that is true to an extent, it feels like an excuse. If Samsung and Apple really wanted to invest the resources, they could help this progress along. We know it's possible. Look at the Galaxy Z Trifold, which is launching in the US soon. That device uses multiple cells to achieve its power. Regulations can be worked around if the will to innovate is there. So here is where we stand. We have budget Chinese phones looking like better value options for battery life than top-tier Galaxies and iPhones. But with the S26 Ultra potentially hitting 5200 milliamp hours and the budget A07 testing out 6000 milliamp hours, it feels like the tide is turning. I might be hoping against hope here, but a man can dream. If there was ever a time for Samsung to break the 5000 milliamp hour curse, this is it. But what do you guys think? Is 5200 milliamp hours enough for you to upgrade? Or should the Ultra match the budget A07's 6000 milliamp hours? Let me know in the comments below. Thankfully, there are excellent alternatives on the market if the Ultra disappoints, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.